Hello, in today's screencast we are going to see how we can import 3D objects from modeling software uh, inside DAO presentations to create interesting animations. I'm going to use this external editor and let me get started by importing uh, object loader. That's a module that lets me import these files. It has a word object and you see that objects are inside the models directory. My file is called audi-body.obj so when I do this, the presentation loads the file and displays it. Now I need to shift it down and scale it down a little bit. So translate x, y, z and scale 50% along x, y, z axis. And that's what I get now. The model shows all black because there is no light yet. So let me add that light zero, light position, again x, y, z uh, to the right. Uh, to the top, front, and if I change the lighting, for instance, to the left, you see the difference. Uh, now, uh, this model is made of multiple parts um, so that I can color them independently. And so, uh, let me add the glass, uh, the inner body, and the wheel so that you can see what each part is. Let me start with the glass. And then inner body, and then the wheels. So in order to see this model better, I need to be able to um, rotate it a bit. So let me rotate it along the y-axis with the mouse. Um, and so that lets me do this movement. And then I want it to be shifted um, up and down a little bit as well something like this and maybe I want this to be also um, so now I have a little bit of control with the vertical axis but I can't go too far um, this model looks a, li a little bland at the moment and the reason is we have no materials in it so let me change that like this. So there's this materials module and let me start by looking at the glass. Um, so I'm going to add a cube map and the cube map is a way to create an environment with pictures for your um, for your models and um, I never really quite remember what the parameters are so I'm going to look them up and you see that we have cube map um, takes a size, so that will be 512 in my case. And it takes six faces, number zero through five, and starting with right. Um, in my case, I placed my cube map inside the CMAP directory here, so I'm going to do CMAP slash, uh, so that's right.jpg in my case. And one, two, three, four, five, left, top, bottom, front, back. And what does it look like? Okay, so it doesn't work yet because I forgot to make this a colored object, saying that I want to control how this shows, you know, the, I want to control the materials myself. So colored object takes more arguments. I need to specify X, Y, Z, and size along x, y, z, uh, zero meaning pick up the size yourself. Um, and one last thing I need to do is to make this color white so that we see the effect of this cube map. Okay, so the cube map at the moment um, needs to rotate uh, depending on how I rotate myself. So let me do this like this. I'm going to save this angle here. And now what I can do with this is apply a texture transform where I rotate along the y-axis and I'm going to rotate with slightly bigger movement, something like this. So now I get a better effect, but it's looking in the wrong directions. See that it's upside down, so let me 
rotate x 180 it's probably I got the map backwards so now I got this much better effect uh, it's too bright so let me make it <coughs> darker with uh, something like this now the effect looks a little bit better now I can apply the same cube map to the body as well very easily and I'm going to do this colored object same thing XYZ pick up the size along XYZ and I'm going to use another material like iron and now you see that I got this color this uh, nice tint to it to it and I can add a color like uh, green so now basically I could add you know any color chooser or pick up the color okay so now it's time to add a nice background to this stuff let me first save all that and go that draw car so when I do this my car disappears I need to call the function again draw car and I see it reappear so but in my case what I want is really to add a background so draw background and draw background we do first just select a uh, black background so RGB alpha and let me add on top of this um, so I'm rotating along the z-axis 20 time time color white and I'm going to use a picture I call counterclockwise so 0 0 center of the screen 1 1 is the size uh, counterclockwise dot jpeg um, so 1 1 is too small and I need to send that to the back uh, something like translate z 4000 pixels so that also makes it smaller so let me pick up something like that for the size and um, I have another one that I'm going to put turning in the other direction uh, and that's called clockwise now this second picture overlaps and so it erases the first one because it's a JPEG it's not transparent but I really want to add the two so I'm going to use a blend function and I'm adding the two pictures like this now doing that is something I want to keep local to this draw background so now if I add back my car draw car and so now I have this nice looking background um, and my car in front of it uh, next step is to create a base and I'm going to put the car on the base so draw base and uh, draw base is so I need a cylinder which is going to be at the center of the screen 450 pixels wide and uh, 150 pixels high um, and you see that it's basically perpendicular to the screen so I need to fix that rotate x uh, minus 90 and um, I'm going to use the same cube map here to give it a better effect so I'm going to call that model cube map model cube map here okay so now you see that I have my base um, let me add another cylinder to make it look better like this so this one is going to be slightly bigger thinner and I'm going to make it 
transparent cyan like this. So now I've got this nice looking base and I got a number of pictures I want to add on top of this. Um, uh, rotate along the z axis, uh, 5 based on the angle. Um, let's say probably like this base1.png, so that's a trans transparent file that I created here, base1234. So what this gives is this sort of rotating movement here, and I'm going to create a few of these um, at different heights. So since I made it 150, that's more like 60, 62, 64, 65, 66, uh, 5.5, 3.5, minus 3.5. 1.5 and minus 2.7 and base 1, 2, 3 and 4 like this. And so now I got this base and you see when I rotate it has this nice effect. Uh, let me make it slightly bigger for all of them. 3, 3, like this. So now, uh, where did I do wrong? 32, yeah, that's too big. So, now I can put my car back on top of that, that thing. Okay, so what I really want is to preserve that state here so that it does not leak. And if I do that, I I need the rotate x to to be the like this. Sorry, like this. So now uh, all I need is to move my car up a little bit uh, minus one eighty and. Um, my base would be down a little bit. Uh, something like this. Maybe I need to make it further below. Okay, so now my car is on a nice base and I can animate it the way I want. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial and that this gives you an idea on how to, uh, to create your own 3D animations. Have a nice day.